Hi guys, today we're taking a look at the latest racing pedals from Camus. This is the Camus LC100, which is an upgraded version of the existing LC100 pedals. And I thought it'd be a good one to review as I recently tested out the Camus C12, which is a direct drive racing wheel capable of providing 12 newton meters of torque. So this may be the perfect pedals to pair up with that wheel, or you could use it with any other racing wheel on a PC. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. So I'll be showing you what you get in the packaging how to set it up together with adjustability you have on there plus test it out when racing on my sim cockpit to see how well it performs giving you my first impressions highlighting any pros and cons to give you a better idea if it's worth getting or not and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below but before i begin if you're new to the channel hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to get notified of my next release the pedals come in a large heavy box and opening it up inside you get some instructions, a USB-C to USB-A adapter, a USB-C cable, an RJ12 cable, a bag containing screws, nuts and some Allen keys, an accelerator pedal with a cable, a clutch pedal also with a cable and a brake pedal. And finally the pedal plate for mounting the pedals. Taking a closer look at the accelerator, it has a strong steel construction. You've got the adjusters behind the pedal on which there's dampeners and a spring allowing adjustments of the pedal throw and stiffness. It has a hall effect sensor and a control module built into the bottom which has connection ports at the side allowing you to connect the accelerator brake and clutch. At the back you've got a type C port where the other end can connect directly to a camus wheel or to a PC so you can use it with any other wheelbase. Next to that is an RJ12 connection port and underneath there's three threaded holes for mounting purposes. Onto the brake pedal and construction wise it's identical to the accelerator but this has a 100 kilogram load cell and it has an adjuster at the back where you can twist it allowing you to adjust the stiffness when pressing the load cell. You've got connection cable at the side and underneath there's two threaded screw holes with the one at the back being slightly larger. Onto the clutch and again the construction is identical to the other pedals looking very similar to the accelerator and once again just like with the accelerator you've got an adjuster behind the pedal on which there's dampeners and a spring allowing adjustments of the pedal throw and stiffness. It also has a hall effect sensor and connection port at the side where you'd connect the other end to the clutch port on the accelerator. To set up the pedals you take the mounting plate and take each of the pedals at a time. Use the smaller screws that came in the packaging and attach the accelerator brake and clutch to the mounting plate from underneath. And as the back of the pedals have threaded screw points it allows you to securely attach each of the pedals. For the brake pedal you'd use a slightly larger screw and that gets screwed in at the back. There's also a smaller screw that can only be hand tightened or you can use pliers as there's no point on there to attach an allen key to tighten it. Once all the pedals have been attached and the screws are tightened you can connect the cables from the accelerator brake and clutch to the connection module at the bottom of the accelerator pedal. To keep the cables nice and tidy you can use the notches on the mounting plate for cable management which is a really good idea. Attaching the pedals to my sim cockpit is easy. My rig is from next level racing and it's the GT Elite. I've taken the upper and lower pedal mounting bars just to make it easier to show it being attached and I'm using the larger screws and nuts that came in the packaging. The nut has a slight ridge on there that slots in nicely underneath to keep things well secured when you tighten the screw and if you're wondering my monitor is the 45 inch LG OLED 45 GR95 QE and my PC is a custom build from CyberPower for which I've given details in the description if you wanted more info on that. Setting up the pedals is easy and they can be used with any brand of wheel but only on a PC as Camus's racing wheels are not console compatible but there may be a third party adapter available later that provides console support but be aware the racing experience with these adapters can be pretty inconsistent between games which is why I personally have never been a fan of them. You've got two connection methods available so you can either connect the pedals directly to a PC or to your Camus wheel. Either way is fine and in terms of performance it really makes no difference. To use the pedals you'll have to install the Camus software which is available from their website. The software allows you to update the firmware on your Camus devices and calibrate the pedals setting a minimum and maximum together with allowing you to set and adjust the curvature of each of the pedals to change how they perform. If you are using a Camus wheel with the pedals 
than you'd use the camera software to launch games from. On to configuring the pedals and it's worth testing the pressure required for each one and depending on how it feels, have a play about with the adjustments to tweak the pedals, throw and stiffness for each one. I found for the brake pedal, it was enough to adjust and keep the rear adjustment value on one as the higher values felt too stiff. Once you're comfortable with the pedals, have a check in the camera software to confirm they work and set the minimum and max if required. I'll be testing the pedals with the Camus C12, which is one of their high-end budget racing wheels capable of providing 12 newton meters of torque with it competing directly with the Logitech Pro Racing Wheel, Mozza's R12 and Fanatec's Clubsport DD, but coming in at a much lower price. Now let's launch Asserta Corsa and get the pedals assigned. So going into settings, controls, we just need to assign each of the pedals and save the config. And now we can jump into a race. And wow, seriously, these pedals feel really good and precise underfoot with literally no flex on them. The clutch feels good with it retracting back really well. I've tested it in conjunction with the Fanatec Club Sport shifter and it works perfectly. The brake pedal with the load cell is excellent and feels precise with a solid feel to it, giving a realistic braking experience. The accelerator feels smooth and retracts back really well when transitioning to the brake pedal. And overall, the experience does feel awesome with the pedals performing really well, with them having quite a premium feel to them. So in summary, I'm really impressed with the Camus LC100 pedals. They're made of steel with a solid build quality with literally no flex. All three pedals allow you to easily adjust the pedal throw and stiffness. There's easy adjustability of the load cell on the brake pedal and pairing this up with the Camus C12, you're in for an awesome racing experience that won't disappoint. And with this combination, it's competing directly with the Logitech Pro Wheel, Mozart R12 and the Fanatec Clubsport DD, giving an experience which is pretty close to them and the best thing about this is that you're able to use the pedals with any wheelbase on a PC. Negatives wise the pedals can't work standalone on a console so if you did use it in conjunction with a Camus wheelbase then that also wouldn't work as Camus's products don't have console support which is a bit of a shame but there may be third-party adapters available later that provide that support but be aware the racing experience with these adapters can be pretty inconsistent between games which is why personally I've never been a fan of them. So there you have it. You've come to the end of another video and let me know in the comments what you think of the Camus LC100. Details are in the description below for all the products I've shown today, including purchasing links. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. For those of you who got to the end of this video, please leave a comment with pedals as it's awesome to see who's got to the end of my video. And if you enjoyed today's video, check out my full review of the Camus C12 next. You can follow me on my socials. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and and turn on notifications to be notified of my next release. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.